Hey Choo Choo's, uh, welcome to the Felder Expresses. Uh, <laughs> now you're just burning gigs, and I don't appreciate you for it. <laughs> How could you say that? I don't appreciate you. Okay. <laughs> All right, because because he's met you. <laughs> All right. Hi, Choo Choo's. Welcome to the Felder Express's Kickstarter preview. Today we've got a game coming all the way from the United Kingdom. It's War of the Nine Realms by Wotan Games, and I want to especially thank uh, Lawrence from Wotan Thanks, for Lawrence. Uh, sending this to us. Yeah, appreciate it. Uh, this is their second game, I believe. Their first game is Camelot the Court. Uh, that is a very Monty Python-y, humorous game. Whereas this one is a very serious, battle royale, end of times, fill the blood cauldron kind of game. So... There is a blood cauldron here. Yes. You're absolutely right. Uh, this might be one of my most <laughs> favorite game components of all. It's a blood cauldron. <laughs> So, for our playthrough, uh, I am going to be journeying as the Ice Jotuns. The Ice Jotuns, and this is all in Norse, so the J's is your Y's. What are you, Christopher? I am the uh, heroic Dark Elves that have no Y's. But yeah. they've got two flying classes, and... Nobody else has... Yeah, nobody else yeah, has that's flying it. creatures. That's, really, that's all I wanted. I wanted to fly. I am going to be... Uh, the other race is the Norsemen. And uh, that's the other race that comes in the game. And I'm going to be the heroic Asgardians. So I'm actually playing as the gods themselves, Odin and Thor and... Uh, Anthony Hopkins. <clears throat> yeah, and Loki. <laughs> um, there's two sides to uh, each board. Uh, there's the heroic side and the epic side. We're going to be playing oh. the heroic side, which is good for beginners. Uh, and it's more like a battle royale, fill the blood cauldron the fastest. So uh, the other side is more about strategy and using magic and spells and that kind of thing. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, so uh, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and get started. Sure. Let's, uh, let's fill the blood cauldron with the blood of my enemies. I'm going to win. And my Tom enemy. Hiddleston, I'm coming for you. All right, guys, let's play this game, and afterwards we will give you guys our opinions and what we think should uh, be added to the Kickstarter campaign. And there will also be a link to the Kickstarter campaign as well. So let's, let's do this. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Let's see, all right. It's so. Ragnarok. You run out of cards. It's Everyone dies. Yeah. No, actually, this is Ragnarok. Oh, this is Ragnarok? This is Ragnarok, and we are all fighting to be a part of the world that will be reborn. So that's why we are either filling the blood cauldron to appease the gods, they'll, the Norse gods, and they'll say, yeah, you guys deserve to murder people in the New World. So leave, a, leave a comment if you know what Josh is talking about, because he's playing as the Asgardians. Loki right there is going to attack Null with his uh, bow and err. Loki looks like Bam Margera. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> Oh With my the god, that three looks... ice. Bam Margera is Loki. 16. Oh man, I just got enough to uh, wound her. Oh yeah? You think so? I, I do think, think so, so, yes. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna add to Null's defense there. Show the card. With a going to add to Null's defense. Six to Null's defense. I will uh, add to my total attack. Boom, which still allows me to hit. I, I wound you. Here, have your wound. Oh, I kills her too. I kills her too. I kills her, and I get uh, get some. Uh, this kills the doll. Blood. I'm adding blood to the blood cauldron. Loki gets to move after he successfully wounds as a free action. So. That's, That's right, Loki. Nice. You go running back in the forest to your mama. Who said? Who said that? That who was, said that? That was me, the matriarch over here of the Dark Elves. You're too, you're like too far a, away, but... So these guys both have 17, 17, 17 nothing special. All right, so the Priestess is going to attack this guy farthest away. Okay. 10, 15, yeah, I'll take it. 20 to oh, hit him. Okay. That hits, and I can do nothing. Okay. So he's dead, so I get one blood point, and because he's within two squares and he died, I get another blood point, so I'm at 12. She's got to die. And then I'm gonna have 
this guy, who's also a flying guy. That priest my, is just spawning blood points. My Merc Dur. Merc Dur is going to attack your wolf bear. Is it Merc Dur or Merc Dyer? There's a, there's a funny uh, symbol above it. I don't, I don't know. Hey, any uh, people that are Norse know how to pronounce M Y R K D Y hash mark R. Got put that the, accent put, the, the write the, write the pronunciation in the comments below. Yeah, yeah. And don't just write what I wrote or what I just spelled out because that doesn't help. Please write it phonetically. So I have four dice against this guy. Oh my god, it's 15. <gasps> no, so 25. 25, yeah. 25 defense. Yeah, he awesome. did. He's dead. All right. I think. No, wait. Oh, He's no, got yeah. one wound. Yep. Oh, okay. Those, those were from there. Okay. Okay, here we go. But who cares? Two more points and I win. I'm moving. Because Priestess is amazing. Kill that Priestess. Six. Guys, if the Priestess is still in this game when it goes live, play as the Dark Hills. Oh, man. And protect your Priestess. It's just three points. He got her in a good location, too. She is surrounded by her units and by forest, which means we can't use long-range attacks on her. You can only get in close. And, yeah, you positioned her pretty good. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use uh, Bonnie Fell over here. All right. To indirectly attack your priestess. Okay. Lobbing boulders. 1920. Yeah, that'll hit. Next against a 15. Yes. You don't have any uh, any, any stuff to do. Oh, I have no cards. All right. Yes. I mean, look at that. That is a that is a White Walker if I ever did see one. Uh, he is going to attack your your priestess over there. Game of Thrones. Okay. Via melee. And since uh, since my Nal died, uh, he gains two dice to all attacks. Oh, but he loses ten defense. He, he does lose ten defense. Forty-seven. Seven. How many? Uh, no, she. That's three hits. That's actually three. That's three three hits. damage on someone that can only take two damage. I get a counter attack. Oh, did you kill him? Oh. Yeah, he's dead, okay, he's but dead. this is counterattack. I forgot right. about your free counterattack there. I may have just lost us the game. Uh, I lost 20, us the game. 21, 29. Have, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Hold on. 29, 33. Reroll them all. Reroll them <laughs> Ones for days. There's an automatic hit. Damn it. Plus 15. Let you roll. Plus, uh, so 18. So that's re-roll them all. Hit. <laughs> 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 oh, I may be behind Oops. by like so many points, but You'll God help damned. me, I want one more turn. 19. It doesn't work. <laughs> 26. 20. Oh my God. So all right. my honor guard is dead, and I kill your guy. And you fill the, fill blood, the, game, fill the blood cauldron and Odin and Thor, they're all like, oh man, that was pretty cool, guys. Uh, sure, all right, we're destroyed. Ragnarok's happening, you guys can tag along. We don't need your permission, silly Asgards. Where's the Dark Elves? Okay, so that was that the game. Was, yeah, that was, that was the game. All right, awesome. Let's, um, we will convene and then uh, give you guys our thoughts on what we thought of the slap hatch. <laughs> well, we have just finished playing War of the Nine Realms. Indeed. Uh, yeah. And I think overall we all have a pretty positive uh, outlook on it. Despite the uh, fact that uh, Christopher spilled the most blood and I was kind of far behind. You were the pacifist. Yeah, but... Uh, Adam, what did you enjoy? Uh, well, there are some games out there uh, that I tend to really like, uh, like Legends of a Drift System, Zaya, um, where exploration is a big part of it. And even though this game comes with all of these hexes that I at first thought were for exploration, uh, you don't explore. This game is not about exploration, and it knows that. Uh, once the map is out, it is set, and it works to its advantage. Uh, combat is uh, pretty fast to get into. Uh, it is ruthless if you make a mistake. Uh, yep. Christopher will come down on you with a cold fury that uh, you will certainly remember. No, you can only do cold fury. It says so right there. Well, 
Burgelmeyer me. Yeah. Well, well, what's something you'd like to see added uh, uh, to the game? As far as what I think could uh, be improved, uh, this deck uh, has a, a good number of cards, but it's it's limited in its variety. There are one, two, three, four, five different cards uh, that you can use to affect combat um, and defense, and uh, while that is pretty good at when it when it's executed i think it could just stand to be a little better if there were more variety like most of these cards uh, for combat say uh, plus five or plus six uh, to a attack or defense mm -hmm. sometimes i only want to add three to my attack or my defense uh if i'm attacking christopher he has no more cards and i need just that little extra to beat him out i don't want to waste a six on it but i'm forced to because of how limited it is. So that's that's just one way that it could be improved in my eyes. Okay. Well, one thing that I really enjoyed and I think uh, Wotan Games really did uh, their homework on was the fact that every single race, uh, there's four races so far um, in War of the Nine Realms and there's going to be more, um, they're all well balanced but they are all so different. Uh, the Dark Elves, they have flying creatures. No one else has flying creatures. Not everybody uh, can do long-range attacks. Not even all the armies have uh, indirect attacks, which are the longest ones. And then on top of that, you flip it over and you've got your epic um, army, which adds in the Valor Points, which you didn't see in this video, but Valor Points add a whole new level to the game. And epic versus heroic can be played at the same time. Uh, <clears throat> I love the fact that there's a Blood Cauldron in here. This is the only game I know of that has a Blood Cauldron, and that's the way you win. But I also want to see maybe more numbers added to the Blood Cauldron. It made for a good, quick game, and it didn't fizzle out. I enjoyed the entire time. Um, but also, we used our um, custom-made game pieces because they were a little bit easier to pick up. And Check uh, out the link right here. Absolutely. And... I know the game hasn't been finished being designed, but this is what comes with it so far. I just want to see a more three-dimensional token to come with it, just to make it easier to pick up and see. How about you, Christopher? So, I'm a fan of versus games. Uh, make no bones about that. I like that the setup is entirely modular. So, we mm -hmm. built this, taking turns, <clears throat> putting down one tile. I had no idea what I was going to put down. And adding terrain using actions, that's fantastic. So not only are the tiles modular, the terrain is modular, mm -hmm. yep. uh, turning forests into water, into mountains, into fields. It's, it's fantastic because it changes uh, the tactics to the point where every game is unique. And it doesn't matter that I played as the Dark Elves, which are amazing. Um, because you can modify the field as you go, it it gives a fresh feel every time you play. I guess what I would like to see in this game, uh, as far as stretch goals go, it's called War of the Nine Realms. Five more stretch goals, five more realms added to it, uh, 10, 20, 50,000, whatever. You guys want to ask, well, I'd be happy to throw money at this thing. Uh, I want to see like you know two-sided tiles with a nice gloss finish, maybe like a an epic tier, uh, more difficult side. I okay. uh, want to see the dice made out of like uh, the, make them carved out of the wood from the Indrazel tree. Uh, oh, you could make the blood tokens uh, actually uh, harvested from the heart of a star like Mjolnir. In fact, you could just make the entire box out of the bones of Sleipnir, oh, Odin's hey. steed. You okay, know, okay, so... You know that that's all just myths, yeah, um, right? So Stretch goal. You can find the link uh, to their campaign page uh, right here, right now. Uh, absolutely a game worth backing and a game worth playing and replaying. Um, so yeah, like and subscribe. Yeah, leave a comment below to let us know what you think or if you've played uh, War of the Nine Realms. Uh, we'd love to hear viewer feedback. Make sure that whatever you type, it, you put it phonetically. Phonetically, yes. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching another Kickstarter preview. And, uh, yeah, thanks to uh, Wotan 
games for letting us uh, borrow their game. They mailed it to us. So they're, very cool. they're not Amazing. getting this back. We're not. Getting <laughs> no, this is really fun, and I wish I could yeah. keep it. Yeah. yeah, I'm serious. We're keeping it. Wotan, you just lost a game. We're gonna like cross state bounds now, right? Uh, actually, they they're are they're from England. Yeah, come get it. 